Hi and welcome to this quick ideas video for the Katowice. This is a short and sweet showcase of potential Katowice use cases. So I hope you see the patches presented here not as endpoints, but as a starting point for your own sound explorations. All right, with that, let's get started. So the Katowice has three different bands and it will separate your audio into low, mid and high frequency bands. So if I just turn this up, you can hear the low frequency of my saw wave the mid frequencies, the high frequencies, or all together. Each band can also be output separately, and we can use the width and the position knobs to change the position and the width of the middle frequency band, also affecting the other two bands, as you can see here. Because the Katowice has TV control over the band positions, you can also use it as a stereo filter in a pinch. So in this example here, I'm using the low output of the Katowice and I'm controlling the position of the cutoff using the Zadar. Of course, you can also use the CV ins for each band's loudness for more artistic purposes. In this example here, the Morphogene is playing a sample of some wind chimes and the Morphogene's gene size, slide and vary speed is controlled by a mutable instrument marbles. The marbles is also triggering three different gates that go into a quadrigy to give me three different envelopes that then control the loudness of each band. The sounds of the Katowice are also fed into a reverb, resulting in the sound that you hear now. So I really like to use the Katowice in delay feedback loops because it gives you really fine control over the tail of the sound. So in this case here, you see I am using the matrix mixer to get an external sound in that then loops through the Katowice and the mimeophone. And we can control how fast the loop decays by changing by how much we attenuate the loop volume every time it goes through the matrix mixer. Here's the original sound. And here's how it sounds through the feedback loop. Of course, you can change the loudness of each band to change the character of the tail. And of course, you can go much crazier with a setup like this. So in this example here, I have elaborated on the patch a bit further by using the Zadar to control the volume of each band separately. As soon as one of the bands is letting enough of the sound through, it will go into this instantaneous feedback loop, giving us all kinds of crazy sounds. For this to work, I'm using a sawtooth wave that feeds into the feedback loop as a base to then be processed further through the Katowice and the Mimeo phone delay. So the resulting sounds are quite abstract, but I feel they would go quite well with a tonal texture. Something like this. So in this example, I just want to quickly show that you can also use the Katowice to do multiband processing. I have a fairly standard filter sweep here, and I am going to process the low frequency band and the high frequency band differently, leave the middle frequency band alone, and then merge them back on my mixer. So this is the original file. What I like is I can now actually add only delay to the high frequencies to smear out like the top end a little bit. And 
we can add some grit to the lows. And in context of the full track. And there you have it. Katowitz is really a powerful module to enable multiband processing. I hope some of these patches give you some inspiration on what to do with the Katowitz. Subscribe for more URI catch ideas, guides and reviews and I'll see you guys in the next video.